two, one. We are live on Facebook. Hello, Facebook. We are so excited. <laughs> Just yeah. give me a call. <laughs> I'll let you go ahead and share this in the event. We had a lot of folks that were in two events actually excited about this. So, yes. Let's find that. Hold on. I'm going to go ahead and share it as well. <laughs> we're not being silent on purpose. We're just sharing this to our event and pages. Yeah, sorry. So, yeah, I'm going to be interviewing Nicole. Well, I wasn't talking because there's an echo but anyway I'll just do I'm interviewing Nicole today and I have six questions right here on my phone that prompt and ask her and this will actually be an ongoing meeting we just concluded that every Wednesday at 12 15 Eastern that's 9 15 PST 11 CST we will be going live on Facebook and answering some CBD questions and uh, this will be recorded we'll pop it up on YouTube so if you can't make it it's all good but it's so fun to join live events. Let me tell you, they're a whole lot funner than just watching a recording by yourself, right? So if you're live with us on Facebook, feel free to drop a comment. Let us know who's watching, where you're watching from. And, um, and also message Nicole or I if there are some questions you want us to answer. Because we're going to be having a ring meeting Wednesday and we will handle the tough questions. So we want to talk about that today. And we've got six tough questions today that people are asking about CBD. And we just want to clear it up. We want to clear it up. But let me tell you, I'm not the brains here. I'm going to be the interviewer. And Nicole is bringing the research and she will be sharing and disclose inside the events. She'll be posting files. So you want to say you're going to these events when we, when we um, open them up. That's a key ingredient here so we can get those files to you. So with that, Nicole, anything you want to add before we get started? No, you know, I'm, I, yes, of course. I'm, I'm really excited about doing this with you because, um, because we've had so many questions and as you know, we move through all the legal stuff and everybody that is really just curious, we, we've gotten a lot of questions um, mm -hmm. that are in the industry or not. There's still just some confusion about, legalities and you know if one product's the same as another and you know all that kind of stuff absorption I mean there's so many questions and so we're going to do our best every week to hammer through some of that stuff and as I research I will share the links with you I'll share where I found that because I'm all about being transparent and disclosing where I got it um, I do my level best to find something that has science based behind that um, so if you're challenging us on it, go do your own homework and that's okay. You don't have to believe us. Yes. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah, so like for a You're frozen on me. You're frozen. Well, she's a little bit frozen on my end. Hopefully it's all good. <laughs> Let me go to her page. Let's see where she's at. You got me, girl? <laughs> okay, well, I, I think she's she's frozen up a little bit. Um She'll come back to us here. So stay on with me here. I'm gonna go ahead and start because we we're running just a few minutes behind. So I wanna get started with the questions. So one of the questions that we have is, is CBD from hemp as good from other cannabis? So there's a couple, well, there's several cannabis uh, plants in the species of cannabis family of plants. And we're talking about hemp and um, <laughs> and the reason we're talking about hemp is because this is where all the controversy lies as to whether or not, um, you know, it's good, is, is CBD the same with every plant? Well, the bottom line is CBD is CBD. Um, it's the same no matter what type of cannabis plant it's derived from. Um, so while it's true that the percentage of CBD in hemp plant um, by dry weight is typically lower, 
uh, on some specifically bred cannabis plants, once the oil is extracted, those differences become negligible. So your body has its endocannabinoid system and it can't tell where the CBD comes from. It doesn't matter if it comes from a plant or from other foods. There, it's, there are lots of resources for where cannabinoids come from and your body makes some as well. Um, so no matter where it's derived from, CBD and the plant's other cannabinoids and natural constituents work together um, in their interaction with the endocannabinoid system to help regulate various vital functions and encourage homeostasis. <laughs> just went ahead um, and answered the first question um, about, you know, if CBD is the same from <clears throat> different types of cannabis. So the answer is yes. So if you want to go ahead and answer the second question that some um, we've got questions about. Go yes, ahead. And before I got booted off, I love my internet. Um, I wanted to share that this is not company um, driven. This is a industry driven. So we're just talking about CBD in general. So Number two question, Nicole, will hemp CBD get you high? Oh, the correct answer is no. So everyone has, or no, there's a lot of people that have some uh, misunderstandings about um, hemp CBD because it does contain a very small amount of THC. So <clears throat> hemp CBD oil is not going to get you high, period, end of story. So hemp plants naturally contain THC. Um, which is the psychoactive compound in other types of cannabis plants that cause a euphoric effect. It has multiple, you know, medicinal benefits as well, but that's a different plant. In, and in those plants, the THC level is much, much higher. So for cannabis to be considered a hemp plant, it must contain no more than 0.3 or one three hundredths of a percent of THC per dry weight. So that's 33%, uh, 33 times less than the, the most potent euphoric causing cannabis plants or strains. Mm -hmm. um, CBD is non-psychoactive, period. Um, it's also been found to reduce the euphoric effects of THC. So if you were taking it in combination with another type of plant, it might even reduce that euphoric effect. That answers that question. <laughs> Okay, next question. Is hemp CBD safe for kids or children? Yes, it is. Um, hemp CBD is safe for people of all ages. Um, while studies need to, might, let me just rephrase, there, there are lots of studies that really could be done, but there isn't anything in CBD that's going to cause a child to have any kind of counteractive it's not going to cause them any health problems is what we're get what, what I'm getting at. Um, it says several studies investigating hemp CBD oil on children are that have been diagnosed with epilepsy disorders um, and other things have been studied in great detail lately. Um, so we know that they're actively studying these kinds of disorders with kids, but um, we don't know. And there hasn't been anything reported of any side effects or anything that can be harmful to kids. Um, again, it's not psychoactive, so it's not going to cause a child to be really drowsy or, you know, have some kind of, um, strange behavior by taking that. Um, so as previously, you know, discussed, this isn't about anything particular product that we're talking about or from any particular company. Safety considerations should always be considered when you're giving anything to a child, whether it's foods, plants, essential oils, you name it, you should always follow safety protocols. So whatever product you are using, you should read whatever that company's, um, you know, recommendations are. Mm -hmm. I would follow that to the letter. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can learn more about that. I and mean, I'll, I'll post where I found this information, but you can always do your homework and find out what those companies recommend. And I would follow that, but yes, it's safe for kids. Okay, is hemp CBD legal without a prescription? Yes, it is. And that's a broad stroke answer. And that is that it's legal under US federal law. So some states are still kind of having some issues with the fact that hemp has this itty bitty tiny little less than three, you know, three tenths of a percent um, of THC in it. 
So depending on what your state's requirements are, you should look and find out what they say and never going to tell someone not to follow the law in their own state. Um, that said, a CBD oil that's derived from imported hemp from other countries is excluded from Federal Controlled Substances Act, the law that makes other cannabis acts and their extracts illegal. So hemp CBD oil is therefore legal to purchase and used under federal law, regardless of whether you have obtained a prescription. Um, individual state laws are dynamic and states may pass laws governing um, hemp derived CBD. So you'll want to, you know, do your own homework on that area. But if you're not concerned about, you know, what the state law says and you're, you're going by what the federal law has just passed with the farm bill, I say go for it. Most, most places you can find CBD on the open market. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, next question. Are all hemp products the same? No, <laughs> no, they're not. So not all hemp products contain CBD to begin with. That's the first thing. So you've likely seen hemp seeds at the local grocery store. They're just like a nut, like a hemp seed. You put it on your salad, your food. Um, you've seen organic hemp oil. That's made from the, the oil from the seeds. Um, your local grocery store, your health store is going to carry that for you. It's a great source of protein. I mean, that's just one product. Um, while it is nutrition supplement, it may contain vitamins, minerals, fatty acids. It's a great source of nutrition. So you have that side of the hemp products. You also have the hemp oil, on the other hand, which is extracted from CBD, rich stocks of the hemp. So for those seeking healing effects of CBD, be sure to obtain hemp oil that's from, um, that contains CBD and other cannabinoids. So look on the labeling. In fact, a friend of mine was just sharing with me today um, a cream that she's been using and the majority of the ingredients in that cream are, you know, um, carrier oils, essential oils, um, you know, a, a kind of a thick base to, you know, to rub it on. But somewhere in the middle of all those ingredients was a hemp sativa um, a, a CBD in there. So read the labels. And if you're looking for medicinal um, relief or medicinal kind of a grade scenario, you're going to have to really do your homework and see what's going to work best for you. For you. Um, she also sent to me this morning a liquid dropper type of um, a bottle that she's been using as well. And while it shows the percentage of content in there, um, <laughs> you have to be really careful about what you're looking at and how much yeah. CBD is actually in the product. Right. So you just have to read the labels and really find out um, and then find out if it actually has CBD in it at all. And if, depending on how you're using it, if it's sublingual, putting it in your mouth, under your tongue, on your skin or some other way, like a patch or something, um, will determine how much of that CBD your body actually absorbs. Yep. Okay. Next one. And last question. Will I test positive for THC if I use hemp CBD on a drug test? Well, this is a challenging question because it really depends, as I mentioned, what type of product you're taking and depends on how much THC is in that product. So it's difficult to say yes or no. You have to know what you're consuming. So I can't answer definitively yes or no. And I'll give you some examples. So, there, so there's tests that are done and it's testing for a specific molecule for THC. Cannabinoids are very similar in their molecular structure, but they're not the same thing. However, if you're taking um, a tremendous amount of hemp CBD, as I mentioned, hemp CBD has one three hundredths of a percent per nanogram. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> it's very little, all right? So the correct answer is if you're taking a lot of hemp CBD up to 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams a day of CBD hemp oil, you could test pos positive. Okay, let's repeat that number. A thousand, okay. go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna give you some statistic numbers here. So um, hemp contains, hemp CBD contains one-tenth 
to one three hundredths of THC concentration that's found in say marijuana, for example. So by comparison, t uh, marijuana THC is way higher, like a lot. An individual consuming a thousand to 2000 milligrams per day of hemp CBD oil would consume approximately three to six milligrams of THC. Okay, so are we, so that's a lot. Like you'd have to, like we're talking repeated droppers full of this high concentration of hemp Which CBD. Which could happen if you're ingesting it, if you're ingesting the oil every 40 minutes. Right. Yeah. So this exceedingly high dose would result in, in a positive detection on a urine test. So let me back up just a smidge now. So here's another, some little more statistics for those of you who are really curious. Um, now there's data demonstrating that a daily dose of 0.5 milligrams of THC from three to five servings of most commercial CBD rich hemp, hemp oil products would test positive for a urine screen. So commercially grade liquid CBD rich oil products that have um, 0.5 milligrams of THC. Again, read your labels. You have to find this out. Um, now, again, most servings of typical high quality, high purity CBD based hemp oil products contain well below 0.1 milligrams of THC and therefore have over 400 to 600 times less THC than marijuana products. So again, if you're going to a dispensary or you're getting this from a friend or somebody who makes it in their backyard or whatever, you need to know what type of cannabis plant you're getting it from. That's number one. Two, you have to find out and know how much THC by percentage per gram of CBD oil is you're consuming. So you have to do your homework. Um, so simply put, a consumer who, cons who uses high quality, scientifically vetted hemp based products at the standard serving standard serving size is highly unlikely to test positive for THC or the, the molecule THC dash C O O H. I hope that answers your question. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a little confusing. So the bottom line is you have to know what product you're taking. Yeah. You can do, you can do your homework on, um, I'll post a link to a page that really describes different types of cannabis and their approximate content for CBD or cannabinoids and then THC, which are two different things, all very health beneficial, but two very different things. So you just got to do your homework and look at your labels. So look, we're going to be coming back to you every Wednesday. We're going to bring the tough questions. Make sure you message me or Nicole if there's a question you'd like to hear in the future. We have, what, maybe five Wednesdays already planned out. So just be looking for your question. It may not be like next week because we have a lot to cover and a lot of questions. So with that, anything else you want to say in close that I'm excited about our little Wednesday with uh, with well, I, I want to just you know, inform the community of you know our community, our circle, you know Facebook, whoever's asking the questions, um, so they can get the right information out yes. there. You know, marijuana and hemp are not the same thing. They're not the same plant. They're not designed for the same purpose. So, um, you know, my recommendation is that you, all of you just get as much information as you can before you decide that, um, this plant is not for you. Right. Good stuff. All right. I'm going to stop the live stream. Make sure you let us know if you are watching where you're watching from and send us any questions. Thank you for your support and watching.